Welcome to the lair of the Batty Boffin. Hi there Batty fans, time for a little more subtraction with the Batty Boffin. We're going to be looking at the shopkeeper method again today. Now I introduced that in some earlier videos as a way of giving change and it's a very good method for doing in your head. It's not the column method where we write it all down and we do it, you know, unpack one from here and use that, which is a great method but it needs writing down. This one is one that you'd do in your head. So just as a recap, imagine that you bought something for £87.14 and you paid for it with £100. So what we're going to do is start with our £87.14 and we're going to add on bits until we get to £100. And then the bits that we add on, that's the change. So, starting with £87.14, for a start off I'm going to add on 6p because that brings it up to £87.20, the next convenient chunk. Now, you could go up here up to £87.50, that would be a nice convenient chunk, but I'm actually going to go up to the next pound, I think. So I'm going to add on 80p, and that will bring me up to £88. Now I'm going to add on another £2, and that will bring me up to £90. And then it's very easy from there. £10 extra brings me up to 100 So that means that the change given all in all is £10 plus £2 plus 80p plus 6p. Or in other words, £12.86. So, £87.14, the change is £12.86. So, Pause for a couple of seconds while I wipe down this board and there'll be some for you to have a go at. Right, here are some for you to try. Now here I've drawn you a number line, which some people find helpful. If you like to use a number line, you go ahead and use it. There are quite a lot available for you to print out ready at www.battyboffin.co.uk. Pop along there to the download site and you'll find a whole load of different number lines and there's graph papers and grid papers and all kinds of different things. You just print out whichever ones are handy for you if you like to use those. So here we've got... 10, 10 pounds, take away 2 pounds 27. So I'm just going to show you how we do it with the number line and then you're going to do the bottom one. So 10 pounds, that's over here. 2 pounds 27, that's, oh, I don't know, about there. And you've got to hop all the way up to 10 pounds. And we're going to do it in convenient chunks. Well, first of all, I'm going to jump up. So that's 2 pounds 27. I'm going to do a very little short jump to £2.30. Okay? And that is 3p. And then I'm going to jump from £2.30 up to £3. And that is a jump from £2.30 to £3 is a jump of 70p. And then I'm going to jump from £3 all the way over to £10. And that's a jump of seven pounds. So we've jumped by 3p, by 70p and by seven pounds. So all in all we've moved seven pounds 73. And that's the answer. That's the difference between 2.27, 2 pounds 27 and 10. So your turn to pause the video and do exactly the same with that bottom one. You pause and do that now. Welcome back, let's work through that one together. £4.38, that's, ooh, I don't know, about here. £4.38. So the first thing to do is to jump up to something convenient, and I'm going to do a little jump, boop, up to £4.40. That's a jump of 2p. And then from £4.40, I'm going to jump to £5. That's a jump of 60p. And then for £5, a jump to 10. And that's £5, pretty obviously. So all in all, we've added £5, 60p and 2p. So the answer is £5, 62. 
pretty easy, isn't it? Okay, I'll see you next time, Batty fans, for a little more subtracting. See you next time. <laughs> Ha 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 